Good afternoon, everybody. So as you can see here, and probably read in the title, we do have a new Nintendo NES emulator that has hit the Nintendo Switch. Now this emulator itself is very beneficial in ways that I would say the compatibility is a little further in certain games that weren't running in the other Nintendo Entertainment System in an emulator I was showing you. Uh, some of those games may be working on this emulator and vice versa. Some might be running on that emulator and not this one. Um, sound is not currently working. I can show you that. Sound is up. So it would be playing already. Um, so there's no sound that is being worked on. I have been um, working close with the developer or keeping in close touch with the developer I'll say and um, there's some things coming around if I go into the game here real quickly I'm using my controllers push start this one going got Kirby Kirby's always a good series I love Kirby games can't go wrong with some Kirby get that started up Ninja Gaiden I'm gonna use my switch pro controller here you gotta use the d-pad Joystick will come in the future. Um, can jump, stuff like that. It's not too bad. I'm not too familiar with this game. I'm familiar with Ninja Gaiden, but not like this one specifically, the original. You can't go up, it seems. You can only can jump. You can hit these, I figured, to get some items. Power ups or something. Shoot. Okay. What happened right there was I pushed X, we'll exit the emulator. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, again, X will exit the emulator, that's what happened there. Um, if you don't wanna exit the emulator, and you want to actually, uh, if you don't wanna exit the emulator and you wanna go back into the games list, you can. Come on. I'm going to start this game. This was one I started in uh, the other Nintendo, the NES emulator, and this game ended up freezing, or it was running. It depends on the ROM, I guess, is what was happening to me. Um, seems to be running here. Speed will increase. It is a little slow on some ROMs and games, but that will change over time. I guess I don't want to get killed here, so I might as well. See, that's what happens with the delay I had there, right? Here it is, I was jumping. And it didn't quite do, but that's okay. Like, I'm still very impressed. I've encouraged the developer not to back down on this project. He's going to be working on optimization. Sound will come in soon. We'll get more speed. Um, it's playable. That's for sure. Like, I'm playing Kirby right now with my PlayStation controller. No, no, no. Really, you can get a power from them? Ha! <laughs> so much different than the one you... You know, here it is, Kirby for the Switch. Can't go wrong with that, really. So, to go back, remember I said it was X or Triangle on my PlayStation controller. And to go back to Homebrew and to go back to the game selection, you will push L1 or... L on the Pro Controller, which will bring you back to your game selection screen. There are some games that won't start. Um, some do. Metroid, we got that starting up here. Haven't played yet. What we got here, we got Super Mario Bros. Start up this first one. The first Super Mario Bros. We got Duck Hunt one there. It'll start. Oh, see? Didn't start that time. That's okay. So I'll have to go back into my homebrew. Jump back into the emulator real quick. Um, don't take too long. Castlevania. I don't know if that one starts. I could try. Hate to try something that's going to freeze real quick. Metroid's working at a good rate, it seems. Um... Yeah, so that froze again. 
It's because of the game I started. So this one's running 4.1.0 and 5.0.2. That's why I say it is basically all throughout those firmwares. Um, Donkey Kong class, it is going to start up. It, it depends on exactly what type of file, NES file it is. Some of them won't start up. More compatibility will come, so that one's not starting again. I want to at least get something else running on this one real quick. Let's try that real quick again. Let's try to find Double Dragon Excite Bike. It's really weird. I don't know why that one's not, not working. All of a sudden... It's a little frustrating. I was going to give up there for a second, but you know what? I'm going to try one more. Just something. Uh, let's see. I don't know why that's not starting up. It's really weird, but whatever. So we got Metroid here. That's running. Very, very good frame rate, too. So it depends on the, the type of NES file it is there's different versions if I'm not mistaken um, I don't know exactly the names of them but something along those lines that's what's keeping some of these games from actually launching and stuff like that I'm sure that'll be resolved in the near future as I said developers moving and working on a lot of things and I want to get another game running here if if I can't get this switch here to boot up another game I'm going to recommend probably restarting your Switch and going back into CFW and Homebrew. Because I'm not too sure why it's not starting up. It doesn't make much sense to me at all. Um, that should start, but once again, like I don't know what's quite going on with that one there. It's a little frustrating. Um, go back into here. Start up Zelda. This is running 5.0.2. This one's 4.1.0. It was working smoothly. I guess this does happen sometimes when you're going in and out of games. And, uh, you know, you go to jump in another game and maybe something's still running in the background. I'm going to speak to the developer about this. I'll probably let him see this video. Because um, these games were all starting, you know, a lot of them. Not all of them. I won't say all the ones have started, but... Like, if they're running on this one, they were opening here. See, like, Ninja Gaiden started up there. Um, we'll go back. Legend of Zelda started up that time. Kirby's Adventure started up that time on 4.1.0. Mike Tyson Punch-Out didn't. I'm gonna go back. We're doing a quick little test on what games kind of run. Or... You know, it's got to be the formats of a lot of these. A lot of these probably will work, but things got to be worked on. Battletoads, I don't think that starts. Tiny Toons, I haven't even tried. It's kind of funny. Tiny Toons. Who remembers Tiny Toons growing up? You remember Tiny Toons? If you don't, I don't know. Can't tell you anything at this point right now. Um, but it's all good. Just use YouTube and look up Tiny Toons. Look up the cartoon. It's a good cartoon. Pretty funny. Grew up on that. And other things. Ren and Stimpy and Mr. Dress Up and all that good stuff. Some pretty good games. So you can see Zelda's running here. Um, I didn't want anyone to think this one wasn't running. And get discouraged and be, oh, I pushed the X button and exited. <laughs> it's all good. But you know. It is running. There are games running. Um, remember the X button does exit the emulator. And the L button does um, go back into the game selection menu. So keep that in mind. I'm going to try one of these Mega Man. Mega Man? Hey, good stuff. See? So I told you. This one does work. Let's get that sword real quick. So D-pad's working, we'll get joysticks after. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Leonidas, more videos to come. Don't forget to listen to the album. Peace.